Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. This is a general reading. That means it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, Leo, please keep in mind, uh, this could be you, but it could also easily be the other person. Um, <clears throat> an offer was turned down in the past. And... Um, it's possible because there was something they weren't seeing. Um, and rather than go and get the facts, rather than communicate what they were feeling, um, they kept it contained. And um, like they, they didn't voice their feelings. And... Uh, all the places that were blank uh, where information was missing well the imagination swept in uh, and filled those blanks with their darkest fears and so this may have caused this person to uh, imagine things that were not there uh, and to completely misunderstand something and so this person um, is very prideful um, and they did not they felt like somebody else was trying to run the show or run them uh, or to control things and they rebelled at that they wanted to do things their way not the other person's way you know and so they rebelled so we have this card of rebellion right here and um, they threw up a wall. Um, they were uh, or are being very stubborn about this. But there's no question in my mind that they love you. The love card is right here. And so I feel like this person... It's like they know or see the error that they made. But, uh, and wisdom has been gained, but they're not applying it. Um, they are still, they, they understand now uh, what happened, uh, what was behind their action. But um, they are still in the dark about whether or not they can get back this opportunity that they turned down or walked away from. You see? So they're still uh, feeling powerless. Not applying, really, the wisdom that they gained. Okay. Okay. You know, I mean, what landed them here in the first place was that they weren't communicating. And so now they've got this wisdom that, oh, I know what I did wrong now, but they're still not communicating. All right, so here we see again this uh, a confirmation of a rebellion that somebody did uh, indeed rebel with this hierophant in reverse. This is again telling me that somebody is being very stubborn. Um, they like to do things their own way. So they like to be in control of things. And this is really when they're in control of things, they feel safe. This is because this sub person has been really hurt before, you know. So they, they feel this need to be in control, to be in charge. And so um, they, they swerved off the mountain road here. Okay, so to, you have the card of the mountain road. So um, this card uh, says that you're on the road to success, but the success is only assured 
if you follow the road extremely carefully at all times, you cannot veer off in different directions and still expect to succeed. So they indeed did veer off of this road, this mountain road. Maybe they fell back into an old way of thinking and doing. So really their challenge is to get back onto that road and, uh, and follow it uh, cautiously and carefully so that they can succeed because obviously they do love this other person. This is a card of a reunion. All right, so let's have a look why it's there. Well, okay, so this person has rebelled and they're in their tower and they're alone and they're feeling lonely. And they have this dove, you see, this is like a, a peace or they want to make a peace offering. You see how the arms are placed and you see how, uh, well, before she picked up that bird, they would have been um, firmly crossed. Now they are slowly uncrossing. So she's like, she's like slowly becoming unfrozen. <laughs> it's like she's slowly beginning to come around, okay? And so, um, because, look, we have the card of pride and ego, so this has to do with somebody's pride, uh, and this could be as simple as this person not uh, wanting to admit that they were wrong. You know, they know they were wrong, but they don't want to admit to it, you know. But uh, they love this person and they do want to make peace. And we see that there is a window open. So there's a window open. I see a cross in the distance and it makes me wonder if they are not burdened by uh, this. Maybe this is more of a question. Is this window open? This is what they're wondering. You see, they want to, there's a dove again. So now we know what they're thinking. And this is about it really extending the olive branch. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want this fight anymore, but they don't know how to get out of it. Or it's not that they don't know how, they know how. It's, I feel like it's, it's like getting the courage to do so for this person. You know, right now, it's like everything's out of their control and it makes them feel very uncomfortable because they need to have that control. They have something on their mind here. Um, they have something on their mind. Um, let's see, we have the Six of Wands. So uh, in this particular deck, uh, the Six of Wands is about... Um, uh, luck but uh, so maybe they're hoping for a luck luck or a lucky break um, maybe with this new development this new understanding uh, they're hoping it would bring them some luck but the thing is they're blindfolded still you see and so there's much yet they cannot see, or they, they feel like there's much yet that they cannot see, and that makes sense because the dark card is there. Um, and so I feel like they want specific answers. Um, they also want to get something off their chest. So they're looking to give and to receive information. And I feel like this card says a lot it's like they're looking back um, possibly they're looking back at a decision they made um, this person left and they they took information with them information that you don't have okay they weren't going to give it to you they weren't giving you this information um, and, and it looks like they stepped into this noose and they kind of, uh, hung themselves because they're, they're, 
they're they're certainly not any happier over here. Um, in fact, they're they're feeling worse off over here. So that you see again, they took they have they're holding on to these swords, this information. Um, these could also be considered ghosts of the past, having to do with a past decision. This person may have something to get off of their chest, but they're also looking for information. And of course, we know what that is, right? They, they want to know if there would still be another opportunity here for them, um, if they could get you back, because they're, this person's actually obsessing over it okay I feel like um, I feel like this person may have written uh, or started to write but then erases it maybe they don't really know how to express what they want to say but uh, it feels like this person is keeping their, their true feelings hidden from you. Why? Because they don't trust. Okay? And it's not that they don't... It's not just about you. It's about relationships in general. They don't trust because uh, of something much deeper that happened to them in their past. Um, and for this person, it may even feel like it keeps happening. And so there's a lot of anxiety, um, worry uh, with the vulture here. Uh, there's a lot of worry uh, that this person, um, you know, they're worried that the other person it would be against them or would like turn them down. Not trusting. It's coming from the ghosts of the past, you know. And I feel like it's probably these ghosts of the past that keep keep them from. It it keeps them. Uh, it's why like it's why they can't stay on this on this path. It's why they keep slipping. That's why they keep slipping. Um, it's This mountain path is very difficult because of the ghosts of the past. I think if they would face these ghosts of the past, it would be a much easier climb. Because once they reach the top, it's smooth sailing after that. They really want this opportunity. The two of love. There's a, a really deep connection with, along with the love card. Um, this is a connection you both would be feeling. Um, it looks like there was a misunderstanding. It could be that words were said uh, that, you know, they feel really bad about right now. Um, they may have misunderstood something with that card there. And they're studying that idea the idea that they may have misunderstood, uh, the idea that maybe, uh, maybe what they thought they, uh, what they thought to be true wasn't, you know, with the magician there. So they're studying the idea of this new opportunity. Now, here's the wheel. Um, this is a card of. Uh, indecisiveness, uh, allowing allowing your life to ramble aimlessly is what it's about. Like this wheel, okay, uh, this solitary wheel, it's like your life has no set course, nor is it attached to anything, you know. It warns you, it's actually coming as a warning that it's time to take charge of your life and give it direction and purpose. Okay. Um, it could 
this message could apply to just one aspect of your life or it could apply to all aspects of your life. Um, but it's definitely time to uh, to give this direction, okay, especially this area of your life needs direction because you have information, you or they, whoever this is, but you're not applying it. You have the means to change things here, but you're not doing it. You have the wisdom, the knowledge at this point to be able to do it. And so the Hills card is your, it's, it's sitting in your overall energy, okay? And uh, so it speaks to obstacles to overcome. The Hills represent obstacles that you'll have to face. Um, and again, this has to do with ghosts of the past. This has to do with, um, you know, uh, slipping always off the, off the road, right? So... Uh, none of the problems are insurmountable, but they will make the journey more difficult, you know. However, uh, just as it is easy to see the surrounding landscape from the top of a hill, so too will you find it easier to view your life after solving these problems. Wow, so a really nice message to end this reading. It's time to give this some direction. It's time to proceed. And this person needs to proceed cautiously. And I say cautiously because of the ghosts of the past that keep uh, pulling and pushing them off, off the path. The easiest and quickest way to the top of the hill is to face those ghosts. Not avoid them. Face them. So, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.